Hi guys and welcome back to Sports Go HD and welcome back to the Pentagon Challenge Series where we are of course now with Japan in the Asian uh, Cup trying to win this competition to complete Asia because then we'd have done the uh, AFC Champions League with Gang of Grande and then hopefully would have completed won this and therefore complete Asia in my Pentagon Challenge Series. So uh, last time I was with you we played Qatar and Saudi Arabia in our Asian group uh, Cup group stage A. Of group A game uh, we won both of those games then that meant we qualified so I carried on played against Lebanon beat them 3-0 they were pretty useless uh, now we got to play against Iran in the quarterfinal of this competition and um, that's changed huh it just said it just said um, that if I beat Iran I've got to play Saudi Arabia and um, not Saudi Arabia sorry South Korea but now it's saying South Korea got to play Oman. And I could face Oman. I thought it was a bit odd. I, it, it was literally just saying that I'd have to face South Korea. And I was thinking to myself, what gives them the right to go straight through? I think it was Kuwait. Them and Kuwait got passes through. But now it's changed again. I don't, I, I don't understand how this competition works. I really don't understand it. Because it just said... Oh, that is bizarre. Oh well. Hopefully, though, hopefully I'll get the opportunity to play, face uh, South Korea or Oman if I can beat Iran. If I can beat Iran and go through, then I'll face do the semi-final in this episode, and I'll do the final on its own in another episode. I think is the way I'm going to do it. But got to get past Iran first of all, who are uh, actually not a bad football footballing uh, country team-wise. They've you know, got some good players. And they almost scored straight away there. Uh, no, they're, they're a pretty decent team, so this could be challenging. Oh, 1-0 to us. Just as I say it. Um, been thinking about it, and from now on, oh, I'll be doing this before I upload this video, but uh, it's going to be double up, double episodes every time I do a Pentagon challenge. Uh, every time it's a Pentagon day, on a Wednesday or a Saturday, it's going to be uh, at least two episodes uh, for those days. Maybe even three or four, you know, if I've got a lot, lot to upload. Um, at the moment, on this folder alone, the folder where I, where I save all my pentagons, I've got like six episodes uh, ready to go. That's two not to us. Um, so yeah, I want to wh whack these out because it's taken up all my memory on my laptop, most of all. And uh, second of all, if I can upload them, you know, let them get them out for you guys, I will do. So expect two episodes at least every pentagon day. With regards to the QPR days, uh, I don't have so many episodes, so it will just be the one, maybe the two if, I, um, if I've if i got enough. But um, also what I'm going to look to do, and I'm going to start actually on this one, uh, I'm going to do a like target. So if, if I get say, a certain amount of likes, I'll upload uh, on, on a video, I'll upload a bonus episode, bonus episode sorry, uh, either that day or the next day or something like that. Uh, just because people are in the comments saying to me they want more, they want more of the uh, of particular series. So for this one, we'll say if I if this video can get uh, 20 likes, then I'll upload another episode uh, the next day. Uh, I think 50. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll go for 20 for 20 likes. That's four nil. Uh, but it will definitely get the two episodes but if if I get 20 likes then I'll upload a third episode the following day if that makes sense so just just so you guys get the opportunity to get an extra video if enough people want it then just hit that like button and you'll get uh, get more episodes I think is the way I'm going to look to do it but definitely upload uh, double episodes every time with this series so far so good oh I didn't mean to do that. Oh, uh, booger, booger, booger. Um, oh, that is annoying. All my my anchor, my defense midfielder is is a defender, but I've got no defenders, central defenders to put on the bench, so I can't take him off. He's gonna have to stay on. I have to keep things the way they are. I think I'll be, I was having a think about it because I literally have only just recorded the previous episode. Uh, I would have done all the Asian Cup in the same episode, but it would be too long for me to record for, uh, upload, and also for people to watch. It would get too boring, so I've literally just done it. And I was thinking in between uh, videos, 
uh, how I think the Pentagon Challenge has gone so far, how this series has gone. I'm really pleased and quite proud of how we've done so far. Obviously, completing Asia, um, China, winning in China, winning the league and the Champions League, and that's 5 0 to us. Hopefully, on course to finish Asia full stop. Uh, did North America, you know, in a blink of an eye. Um, the only real frustration, frustrating thing, as I was saying in the previous episode, is that um, it's just the waiting time, the waiting between the between between jobs, between continents. It takes so long for the leagues to upload or le leagues to come into um, come into play, be playable. It takes time for that to happen. It takes time for um, for the uh, to actually get a job. It's so. Um, Frustrating at times how long it's taking. I'm really frustrated that I can't get a South African job. That is really annoying me. Um, so it's got it's just a waiting game really. Let me know in the comments though how you think. Are you enjoying this series? How how is it going for you? What's what's been the best? I don't know the best the best achievement so far. Would you say? Would you say it's winning in, winning the China, the second division? It could be winning the Chinese second division. Is it? Uh, how we did with Gangdong Sunray, uh, you know, getting them into the Champions League. Is it winning, dominating with Gangs over Grande? Is it completing North America in a blink of an eye? Is it how we're doing with Japan so far? Uh, let me know what you what you think. For me, my personal, uh, I'd say the best, ba biggest achievement was definitely um, being dominant with Gangs over Grande. But for my one, I'm most proud of is how we did with Gangdong. I'm really proud of how we took that team. Um, from being rubbish, pretty much rubbish, to uh, from when I left it, it was a top top team in uh, Chinese football, um, constantly competing in the for the Champions, League, getting into the Champions League and stuff. Um, they were never going to beat Gangs Over Grande because that team is just incredible. But you know, they're, they're for for a Chinese club outside of Gangs Over Grande, they're incredible. So it was pretty cool that it took them from second division to that. That's my most proud one, I think. So we're now going to face. Who do we face? I don't know who we're going to face yet. So I'm going to pause this and I'll come back for the semi final, whoever that may be against. Okay, we're back and it's the one I expected, but it's the one I didn't want. It's South Korea today. Uh, Got to get through them to get to the final where we will meet China. Uh, if we can win, of course, that is. Because China beat uh, Australia 2 1. So it's a case of potentially um, a match against majority of the players who I'd have managed at Gangs Over Grande, so it could be a pretty cool final if we can get through, but South Korea is so good, some of the players they've got. Majority of the team playing uh, the Bundesliga, or it seems like that, anyway. Um, bun I mean, the bun thing about the Bundesliga for me, it's like, the way I look at it is like, um, in the Premier League, we see Spanish players and Belgian players as like fashion accessories, like they're the thing to have, um, they're the must-have thing. If if a team's got a Belgian player, for example, Chelsea collect them like there's no tomorrow, and um, they're just the thing to have at the moment. In in the Bundesliga, it seems like an Asian player is the thing to have. They all have Japanese, uh, one or two Japanese players or South Korean players in their squads. They're just like fashion accessories. The way they collect them, it's quite funny actually how they do it, and um, oh. 1-0, we're in the lead, good stuff. But yeah, I think I just think it's quite funny the way that the teams, if you really think about it, it is like a fashion accessory. We collect Belgians and, and Spanish players, German teams collect uh, Korean, or South Korean, or Japanese players. Um, and then all of Europe collects Brazilians or Argentinians, uh, if you think about it, it's quite funny. I want to complete the Pentagon Challenge, I think, as quick as possible because one, I don't want I don't want it to be dragging on until you know the new game comes out. I want to get it done ASAP because I really want to get onto the San Marino Challenge because I, I did it last year on last year's game on my former channel and the most enjoyable save I've, I've ever had on an FM game. I recommend to anybody to have a go at the San Marino Challenge, and this year it's going to be made a little bit easier because San Marino got promoted in real life to the uh, division up. So uh, I'm thinking of adding a couple more extra dimensions to that uh, to that series um, when I eventually get around to it to make it a little bit more interesting. I might have got a couple of ideas, and also um, I've learnt from last year's mistakes I made 
things I did wrong uh, to maybe get things going a little bit quicker in it. So I can't wait, absolutely can't wait to get get cracking with that one. So I'm, I'm sort of, do I do I stop my QPR series or you know or do I wait to complete um, the Pentagon Challenge and then do it or race? I've, I'm trying to. Uh, my idea is I want to complete the QPR series by winning the Premier League or the Champions League depending on which one seems most realistic at the time uh, and when I get fed up of the QPR series or complete the Pentagon Challenge series it really is, I'm not sure which one's going to happen first oh, 2-0, we're in the final it looks like um, so it's quite because right, I'm desperate to start San Marino I really am uh, buzzing for it, I can't wait to do San Marino And it looks like we're in the final. Unless things go really tits up. We're in the final against China. Japan-China final. They've had many... Uh, well, from what I know of history, they've had a couple of wars over the years. So, could be a bit of a footballing war. Oh, 3-0? Nope, good save. Cross it in? Nope. Have a shot. Go on. No, cross it in. Go, Kagawa. No, or Kago, Kagawa. However you want to say it. I know someone's going to tell me I'm saying it wrong in the comments, which I probably am. My pronunciation of names is truly appalling, I know, and I apologise for that. Oh, that was terrible. Blow up already. Blow up so I can do the next episode of this series so I can do the final. Come on. And then resign from my position as Japan boss if if we win, of course. Kagawa, Honda, Hon Kagawa, somebody. Oh, we're in the final. There we go. I thought South Korea would be much better than that. Right, we're going to tell them passionately and very pleased. Okay, that's pretty much going to do it for me for this episode. Leave a like on this video if you've enjoyed it and for being in the final God Place face uh, China in the final in the next um, episode. So until then, I will see you guys next time.